Are you responsible for implementing high availability and disaster recovery for your mission critical application data on AWS? Do you find that it's a complex process and that the actual replication to a DR site can incur performance penalties? If you've answered yes to these questions, Amazon FSx Finet App ONTAP has the answer for you. Protect your data with FSx for ONTAP, which offers multi-AZ deployments and built-in efficient replication to a DR site in the region of your choice. And with the new NetApp Workload Factory, you can also easily automate all this using AWS and NetApp best practices. In this FSx for ONTAP Workloads Inside Out video, we'll show you how to use FSx for ONTAP's replication features as well as NetApp's Workload Factory to do just that. Let's get started. So, you're building applications on AWS and need high performance and resilience, like this healthcare company that built a patient record software on EKS and needed to make sure that its workload had 99.99% availability, processed 60 million messages with milliseconds latency, and can fail over to another region for disaster recovery. Initially, they used a different file service as the underlying storage for persistent for you. While their previous file system offered 99.99% availability, it struggled in a multi-region setup and had severe latency and throttled delivery just 5 to 10 million messages per day. Replacing it with FSx for Onta, they kept 99.99% availability were able to meet their latency requirements and enjoyed FSx for ONTAP's built-in cross-region replication based on SnapMirror. Want to understand how FSx for ONTAP did all this and what it can do for you? Let's see a technical explanation and hands-on demo that do just that. Amazon FSx for NetApp ONTAP is a fully managed storage service powered by NetApp technology. It provides intelligent storage for business critical workloads through a comprehensive, flexible set of storage features for accessibility, resilience and protection, data security, price performance, data mobility and copies. FSx for ONTAP is designed to deliver fast, predictable and consistent performance that allows minimal latencies. It provides multiple gigabytes per second of throughput per file system, sub-milliseconds file operation latencies with SSD disks, 200k of IOPS, and it incorporates a unique in-memory cache and NVMe cache to further enhance the performance of frequently accessed data. All these parameters are configurable, so you can scale up when needed and scale down to save on costs a less performant environment, such as the DR site, which doesn't need to provide high performance until you fail over to it. When implementing disaster recovery, source volumes are copied to another FSx front app file system located in the same or in a different region, creating a mirror copy of the volume using NetApp SnapMirror, a built-in replication engine. The mirror copy is asynchronously updated based on a user-defined schedule Manual updates can be performed as well. The schedule configured ensures that the mirror copy is automatically updated and determines the recovery point objective, RPO. Upon updates, only changes occur in the source volume since the previous updates are copied to the destination. Once the initial copy is completed, the destination volume can be accessed at any time for read operations only. Whenever a major disaster strikes, the source volume is unavailable, and the destination volume can be made writable or activated, and applications or compute services can instantly fail over and access their data. Now that we've understood how the technology works, let's see it in action. Let's see how we create a DR copy few files residing on an FSx for ONTAP file system in a different region. We'll show you how to do it with the command line interface and then using a workload optimization and automation tool called Workload Factory. 
In our demo, we have a source FSX front app file system and a destination FSX front app file system. We'll now connect to our file systems over SSH to set up the preconditions of the replication relationship. We create a cluster peer on the source and the destination file systems. We then create a storage virtual machine peer between the storage virtual machines hosting the volumes. Now we'll log in to the destination FSX front app file system and create a snap mirror relationship. We will now initialize the relationship, check if the relationship is successful. Let's mount the source and the destination volumes on a Linux machine to see if they have the same data. Now let's see a simpler way to create a replication relationship using Workload Factory, NetApp's workload optimization and automation service. In the Workload Factory console, we click on Go to Storage Inventory. We choose the file system we wish to replicate and click Manage. This file system has a volume with mission critical Tender pictures. We go to the Replication tab, click Replicate File System. We fill in the configuration in the wizard. And click Create. By doing so, Workload Factory creates a cluster peer, virtual server peer, and a destination volume. It also creates the snap mirror relationship and initializes it. We did all the manual work we did using the CLI in one click of a button. Let's go to the Volumes tab on the destination file system and see the copy volume created by the wizard. We'll mount the volume on the Windows machine to see the data has been replicated. That's it, it's as simple as that. If you want to learn more about replicating file systems, you can find relevant links in the video description. In this Inside Out video, we learned how to achieve optimal performance and resilience on AWS by selecting FSx Front App as the storage infrastructure. We also saw how Workload Factory helps to easily replicate Amazon FSx for NetApp OnTap file systems across AWS regions with ease. Check out our other FSx for OnTap Inside Out videos to gain an inside out view of the numerous benefits FSx for OnTap offers your workloads. See you there!